Hi, welcome back to Shotoku Tech. Last time, we saw how to use the UI Designer in UI Flow to arrange rectangles and labels on the M5 Paper e-ink screen. Then, we used UI Flow to program the new M5 Paper to read the temperature in my office using MQTT. In this video, let's go further with MQTT on the M5 Paper to see the status of my Creality Ender 3 printer using MQTT plugin in Octoprint. I hope you enjoy it as much as I do when several different topics overlap. In this case, we have UI Flow, M5 Paper, MQTT, Octoprint, 3D printing, and we're going to use the WebThings gateway to switch things on. Let's get started. You can see the Ender 3 shows disconnected on the M5 paper. Okay, now it's connected. Let's look in Octoprint to see the options for the MQTT plugin. Now on the Broker tab, you connect to the server and set the basic parameters. We're going to use public.mqtthq.com. Now down at the bottom here, we're going to clear the retain flag and we're going to set the clean session flag. On the topics tab, let's set the base topic to Shotoku Tech slash Ender 3. Let's keep it simple and just use activate event messages and we're just going to use printing events. You can always go into more detail if you wish. I'm just showing you how to get started. Now the last will tab tells us that we can read the Shotoku Tech Ender 3 MQTT topic for connected and disconnected messages like we just saw. Now let's take a look at the code in UI Flow. Make sure to watch this previous video where I show you how to set up the screen, MQTT, and read my office temperature and display it on the M5 paper. So in UI Flow, I already have two rectangles drawn on the screen, one with the date and the time, and one with the office temperature. These rectangles each update independently so the whole screen does not refresh, just the individual rectangles using the set screen partial show command. Let's draw a third rectangle, and instead of just one topic subscription drawing to the rectangle, we have three topic subscriptions. Down here, the uh, Shotoku Tech Ender 3 MQTT subscription gives us those connected and disconnected status messages, along with the time and date when it occurs. Then we have the print started and print done topics. Each of these subscriptions will update this one shared area on the screen of the M5 paper. Let's go ahead and print something now. How about this M5 paper stand? There, you see, as soon as I click on print, the print started status message is shown with the time of that event erasing the previous connected message. So, let's watch the time lapse of the print to speed things up a bit. Okay, so you see the print job finished sometime last night. I get up rather early, so I was already in bed. But you can see the print done status with the time of the event. Now, let's shut down Octoprint to see the disconnected status on the M5 paper. Yeah, via the broker's last will. So, we're actually relying on the broker's last will mechanism to issue the disconnect. I'm going to use the WebThings gateway here, and it's off. There, it says it's disconnected now. Yeah, see, that disconnect comes from the broker, not from the system, so that explains that. Yeah, it seems like the disconnect message is the least reliable thing in all of this. Make sure to look for the link down below in the description for this project on my GitHub site. Now, you can take what you've seen here, whether it's M5 Paper in UI Flow, MQTT in Octoprint, WebThings Gateway, or all of them together and explore further. Leave a comment down below with any questions that you might have. 
Or what else you'd like to see with M5 paper, MQTT, web things, or Octoprint? Thank you very much. So, make sure to check all the links in the description down below. Please subscribe, check out some of these other videos, and thank you very much. Thank you for watching Shotoku Tech. Please subscribe, comment, like, and share.